Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Still stuck on this room here. I see Navi over there. So I'm going to try some stuff with ye old Ocarina of Time. I'm going to try the Scarecrow song first because I didn't see any hookshot targets. So that might uh, make... Ah! It does make Pierre pop out. Good to know. Oh, I didn't need to jump in the water at all. Dang it! <laughs> uh, oops, wrong set of boots. Wrong set of booties. Eh. And let me use... There we go. I don't know why there's like a delay to use the hookshot when you're underwater and you like are affected by some action or something like that. I never quite understood that. Okay, so we're here. Where is here? I don't know. Oh, there was, there was a hookshot target over there. But, hmm. Uh, is this water that I'm going to be forced to swim in if I fall into it? Oh, there's a pathway down there. Well, that's why the hookshot target was there, so I can get back out of it. So I should probably go over to this door first. I think. Oh, wait, wait, wait. This is... No, wait, this is a totally different room. Uh, looks like four torches could be lit with uh, Din's fire. I think. Well, let's just hit this switch and see what it does. I think it's going to raise those geysers. Yeah. Let's get out Din's fire and see if I can make a difference in this room by getting onto that middle spout. I'll be able to jump back up here easily. I just got magic power for whatever reason. But I mean, I'll be able to get back up here easily because of those. Does this work? No. Because those hookshot targets. Maybe this was the room that I needed fire arrows for and I'm going to have to come back for later? Perhaps? Well, let's go back into the other room now. You know, the one that I could dive down into with the iron boots, which is just in the adjacent room. Because I, I just did Din's fire, and I don't think I can light those torches fast enough. They're likely those kind that uh, go out very quickly if you don't uh, get them all lit quick enough. You get the idea. Unless they are torches that stay lit for a while, but I would highly doubt it. Knowing this dungeon, maybe I'm thinking too shallow now or something. I don't know. I would just like to move on here because I'm really curious about this room now. Um, hookshot target? Yes. Can I hit it though? That is the question. Well, I can from this angle. But I mean, I thought maybe I was too close to the wall. Nope, blocked in. Staffles. Staffles, I can't fight you with my iron boots. They are much too heavy. And what? Why did you get on that crate? What, are you trying to get a higher view? Ah. <laughs> I just don't understand it sometimes. And you heard me pull out my shield as he was coming for me. Come on. Well, oh, I was a little bit too early uh, lowering, lowering my shield there, but eh, it worked out in the end. Now, when am I getting the dungeon map and compass? <laughs> Maybe it'll be in this room. No. Okay, what's in this room then? Is it something that I desire? Maybe a Skultula. Maybe it is the answer to all of life's mysteries. Ah, uh, a key? Well, that's something I'll need to use, I'm sure. But I was kind of surprised to find it in the crate. See, it's always a good time, I mean, always a good thing to check the crates as you go. Otherwise, you might miss something important. Or I should say, blow up things along the way. See, if even if I had the map, that wouldn't be marked on my map. Because of the fact that uh, it was in a crate and not in a chest. The maps only detect when you have chests to find that are left. Sneaky, sneaky. Hmm. I wonder if that gate that's uh, way back in the first room... You remember what back at the... Uh, uh, way back that had that skull tool out that was blocked in? Way, way back at the early stages of this dungeon, I showed a skull tool and it was behind the gates in a hallway. Climb up, climb up. There we go. Hmm, I wonder if I if one of those gates are open now that I was you know that I opened the gate 
to the first floor. I can't really get back to the first area anyway easily right now. But what is the solution to this room? I don't see like any hookshot targets or anything to shoot. And that geyser room was just as puzzling. Hmm. Back to the geyser room, I suppose. Because I, I really don't see anything in that room, unless I'm just not being observant enough. I feel I gave up on this room a bit too easily. So when I think... Link. Stop making the camera go twitchy twitch. Well, I shouldn't say it's Link. Maybe it's uh, Lake 2 or something like that. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna light this torch and see how long it stays lit. So that lights... Okay. Maybe I should attempt to at least light a few of these. Eh. Okay. No, wait, did that? That didn't light it, did it? Dang it. Maybe I have enough time to light all these, I'm not sure. Oh, dang it. So, so twitchy. <laughs> that one's lit. Maybe I just... Maybe these stay on long enough. And then what's the point of the geysers, then, with the hookshot target over there? That See, that's the thing that threw me off, is... Come on. What the heck? I'm shooting right through the thing. Unless you can't light it from this side. Maybe that's the thing, is that you can only... light things from certain sides? I would really doubt that, though. Or maybe I'm supposed to, to like, light this one with Din's fire, then jump across, use Din's fire in the center, then use Din's fire on the other end? Yeah, let's give that a shot. Or maybe I'll just use Din's fire here, because this because that other torch is within range. The one way at the beginning. Okay, good. And... Go, 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 go! Yeah! Okay, see, I gave up on this room way too easily. But that other room with the whirlpools is puzzling. I don't know what the heck I'm supposed to do there. And where... What is this room... Oh my god! <laughs> Look at all the Dodongos! I don't remember... Maybe because I never was here before. Come on. I like to hop beside you. Oh, come on. Well, that works. Its weakness is its tail. I don't know how that worked out. Um. Wow. I'm gonna try lighting you guys on fire. <laughs> Will this work? Nah, of course you're immune to fire. But I know you're not immune to bombs. <laughs> Just gonna throw a couple of them at the pit there. <laughs> Just let them play with each other there as I blow them to smithereens. I'm just gonna drop it down there. There we go. <laughs> Maybe I should be hitting those guys from the other side as well? I don't know. Or I, I could take them on just like by jumping down the pit if I wanted to, I suppose. <laughs> hmm, maybe you're very vulnerable against the sword. Oh wait, you're gonna explode! I forgot about that. There's gotta be something in this room. This room wouldn't be here if there wasn't something in this room. And I aim to find out what that something is, if it's the last thing I do. Um, I'll go ahead and take you guys on. You're only three. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep, I thought so. Oh, that one was already damaged, and so was this one. Oh, shoot, oh, shoot. <laughs> That's why I couldn't uh, swing my sword anymore at those. I was distracted. I thought they were still alive. Eh. Nope. There we go. <laughs> well, that's that, I suppose. So let's hookshot our way out of here. Or at least I think I'll be able to hookshot my way out of here. Oh, there we go. To the newly opened door. No Skultulas whatsoever. I didn't see any. Hmm. Oh well. Oh, now I'm on the other side of this room. Oh ho! But there's a skull to light here, so that's how you get over here. You sneaky, sneaky puzzler. <laughs> there's probably a switch that lowers these gates and lets me go back. Or not. 
Maybe I'm supposed to hookshot my way across? Nope, this is just a completely blocked in corner. That's quite surprising, but I am over here and there's absolutely nothing here, so that solves the puzzle of this. So I guess I'm going back to the main room now? Maybe? <laughs> Perhaps I don't. I just see since I don't have the dungeon map and compass, I don't know what the heck is left. Um, is there an easy way to get back to the main room without like saving and quitting? E. Eh. Gonna have to. Nah, I'll just hoof it. I guess the way back there. I'll cut ahead. Unless I find something like interesting along the way that I'll need to use. But you know I do that before. I mean, you know I've done that before, if I have to. Now that I'm back at the main room, I can see what... Wait, wait, was this open before? No, wait, that, that's, that's the switch that I pressed to open all the gates on the bottom floor. Or at least I think it was. This led to... Was it? Was this the place that led to Princess Rudo and that Song of Time block? No, this was the place that led to the uh, Skulltula, so I am on the right track now. I think that gate is going to be open now that I, I mean, that I have that switch pressed. I think. It better be, dang it. Is that torches on the wall there? Or is this a new place? I actually think this is a new place. Eh. <laughs> so touchy. Okay, yeah, this is a new place. Okay, progress is a good thing. And this room is apparently flooded, no matter what I do. Uh, because it's, I should say, flooded to a certain level. Because this room seems to have held water and air. So let's get my boots off and see what's up. I didn't see any keys. Yes, keys, not keys. <laughs> um... Probably a Song of Time block there. Ah, I betcha that's what I need the fire arrows for. Maybe. Because <laughs> I don't think my uh, Din's fire has enough range to reach up there at this edge. Um, how close can I get to there? Like, maybe I'll try it here. I don't think Din's fire can reach up there. No. I didn't think so. Wait, 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 let's see if it lit the bottom torch at least. Nah, I thought like maybe I could shoot through a bottom torch with an arrow to light the other ones. Nope. Let's try it up here. This looks even further away, actually. No. Not in the slightest. Um, what is over there anyway? Pierre, am I gonna need your assistance? Mmm, we'll see. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, he helps get across there. But what is across here? Staffles? You probably open the gate. Eh, maybe what'll happen is after I defeat these guys, they will, like, give me a higher platform to get on top of to light those torches with Din's fire. Just maybe. I guess we'll see. Yeah. There we go. One down, one to go. You are at a high vantage point, aren't you? And I hear a Skulltula. Is this the only purpose of this room? Is the Skulltula all that I need? Pierre, get out of the camera. <laughs> he really wants to be in the show, doesn't he? Come on. I'm trying to time my sword slashes to his. Come on, do your thing. Do your thing. E. Good. It's about time. <laughs> it's like he's just holding up a shield, not really doing anything most of the time. And yeah, that was too close there. Ah, whatever. And that did absolutely nothing. <laughs> Okie dokie. Um, I'm gonna try a Din's fire. I know the Skulltula is behind here anyway, so it's like, no big deal. So I know the locations of two more Skulltulas at least. I bet you this is one of those 
or I should say it could be one of those ones. I'll need to charge up my sword slash. Nope, not that either. It's a fairy. Yeah, then my sword definitely hit those crates. Yeah, I guess I have to light those things. I don't see anything <clears throat> anything else in this room. Hmm. I guess we're forced to come back here later or something. So maybe I'll just skip on the uh, remaining Skulltulas for now. Or maybe I'll see if that one is open back at the uh, gated room. Just for the heck of it. Because you know the switch is pressed right now. I know there's a room that I can get to right at this moment on the third floor. It's where I would normally, you know, go over to face the boss. Uh, but I'm not sure if that's a place that I desire to go. <laughs> because, you know, it'll lead me to the boss and I, I have a key to use. So I am apparently missing some place to go. Uh, maybe I'm supposed to go in that room for... <laughs> I'm gonna lower the water level back down to here and then light those torches. Maybe. <laughs> this is quite the puzzler, I guess, sort of. Mm. See, I haven't had to raise or lower the water level too much in this dungeon so far, which is pretty surprising since you had to do it so much in the original. Or maybe that's the thing. Maybe that's the reason why I'm stuck is because of the fact that I uh, didn't lower the water level enough, or I should say change the water level enough and maybe that allows torches to burn or something like that. What? You're kidding me, right? I was standing right in front of the plaque. <laughs> Unless this is to raise it? No, that, that isn't to raise it. Come on. Uh, I didn't wait for the cue to tell me that I can use a song there. <sighs> I'm feeling a little disgruntled right now. Anyway, let's jump back down to the bottom and see if I can do anything. Ah, so this tort I mean, this place is now lit, or this thing is now lit. Am I able to... You know, I'll just use Din's fire first to see if I can light those things with it. Yeah! It's a lot easier than using arrows to get through this. That's for sure. Okay. I don't think I was through here before, so new room! Got a spiky thingy. Hit it with the hook shot, And it'll stun it. And then you can kill it. This, this is a false. I'm going to see what that does. That just gave me a red rupee. I, my wallet is completely full still, and I don't see that changing anytime soon. There's no like-likes in this game that uh, uh, take rupees from you like there was in Four Swords. Well, actually, that was Force Gem like-likes. Well, will this be the mysterious dungeon map? <laughs> I've been pondering on how to get this into- oh, the compass. Well, I suppose that's sort of helpful to know if I'm, I'm like in a room or something like that. What does... Uh, I guess because I already got that thing that I don't need to get it anymore. I mean, that I already hit that thing that... Navi's just giving me a false cue now. Maybe. <laughs> um, back to the Skull Tula. Yeah, I got that Skull Tula really on the mind here. I got the whole 100% thing here. Um... Wait, was it? No, 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 it wasn't down this way, was it? Maybe it was down that way. I recall it being on the bottom floor. But yeah, this was the way back. And I already checked through the other rooms. <laughs> I really hate to go do a whole uh, ring around the rosy here if it's not the correct path. Where, where does this take me to again? I still don't have a map. <laughs> eh. This uh, dungeon is kind of annoying in the fact that it's a lot of micromanaging between like switching items 
switching your equipment. Yeah, okay, this leads me back to here. So I don't know. Um where was that skull tula? Was it on the second floor? I, I don't believe it was on the second floor. I raised the water level back to the second level. Now I'm heading off down this path and see. I've been here before. This was the room with the crates. Okay, because yeah, I had to jump this gap with a crate to put a crate on a switch and open a thingy. Oh, wait, wait, wait. that was the path over to the Skulltula. So it was the second room. I should say the second uh, floor that I had the Skulltula. Okay. Uh, the next path, if you want to jump ahead, um, all you have to do is go to the third floor and hook shot your way over to a new place with a statue that's raised up on the waters at level three. And this this thing is still okay. There's got to be something. I thought there was gonna be another switch in there, like there was in the fire temple. I don't understand how to unlock that thing. I mean, I I have that uh, initial grate open, so. Ah hmm. uh, ah uh, ah uh, ah! Uh, oh goodness gracious! Great balls of Din's fire! I see a torch. I didn't see that before because this gate is very very densely placed. I should say it's very dense gate. And that's how you do it, I guess. Awesome, tastic. And this is indeed on the second floor. Uh, it's beyond that uh, gate that has that switch that has you, I mean, that forces you to open the gate with the switch that has that very short timer, so that's how you get over here. Um, now I guess. And that's where the live commentary ended, because I forgot to clear the memory of my SD card. <laughs> Man, if there's a way to bungle something in this walkthrough, I will find it! But it, it doesn't really matter anyway, I was gonna end off this part. As you can see, the recording ended off there. So I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part.